Everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to um, go from Shiva right into Android with as little pain as possible, or at least as little as I've been able to find. Okay, so here we go. We have our Shiva authoring tool open up. Now you browse to the location of your SDK file. I just keep it on the desktop for East right now. So you load it up, the authoring, you set your bundle identifier, the version and the version code um, set it to project over here we go to development and you want to check all of that I set it to Android 2.2 because that's the lowest version Shiva supports and you get started you hit build and you just let um, you let Shiva 3D authoring tool do its thing for a little bit uh, this doesn't usually take too long maybe 15 25 seconds something like that for me <clears throat> so while it's building let's go ahead and just kinda get Eclipse ready so here's Eclipse um, I was trying something before alright so we're just waiting for the authoring tool to finish right now and, um, Once it's finished, you will have your folder that was created by um, by the authoring tool. What you want to do is actually extract this folder. So just extract it all, and once that's extracted, you're pretty much done for that part. You go into Eclipse, File, New, Project. Now on the project we go to Android project from existing code and now you browse to where you extracted that folder you extracted a zip folder that Shiva 3D exported to you import it you go ahead and you just hit finish and that's it you have a working Android project, everything's working. You don't need to mess with end files. You can still do end files if you want to, but you don't have to. Now here, let's take a look. I'm going to try to launch a debugger. Sometimes my debugger will crash. So we'll kind of watch down here as that goes. And um, we'll see because right now I'm running this in parallels so I can't actually well I haven't figured out how to connect my phone to parallels so while that's doing its thing let's just do a quick export so now you have your project you tested it on the emulator you're sure it works you want to test it on the phone go to Android tools you have export signed or ex export on signed let's export a signed version you choose the project hit next you choose the keys, key store and you just browse to the key store I keep it on my desktop and enter your secret password choose your alias and enter your password again hit next now you choose where you want to save it so I'll just save it on my desktop as You have to put .apk. If you don't, this, if you don't put .apk, Eclipse will just export it as Universal Defender with no extension, and Android won't know what to do with it. So you export it, finish, and you wait. What is this? okay it looks like my emulator crashed that happens sometimes so emulator's dead I will do another part where you could actually see me putting these we actually see it loading up on the emulator it seems like it crashed 
Let's try one more time. So it's launching again, and this APK that I have is actually pretty large. It's about 40 megabytes, so it won't really install, but you could actually watch, well, it'll install and open in about 30 minutes, but I think in about a minute or two it'll actually get to the Shifa logo to show that it does actually load, and if you put it on a phone, it will actually run. So that's just a quick and easy way to um, go from Shiva into Android without messing with scripts or dealing with the command line or any of that stuff because that can be a pain sometimes. Let's see, let's stick around for another minute or so, see if I can get it to actually do something and not crash. Okay, I'll join you soon. Recording live, so I don't actually, uh, this is not scripted. It's all real time. Okay, there we go. So now we see it's uploading Universal Universe Defender to the device. This will take maybe 30 seconds. You can leave now if you want to, or you could skip forward some time. Again, like I said, I am recording this live. I won't be editing anything. And, um, We'll see how it goes. Now also, there you go. Finally opened up. It's still uploading, so... You know, I'm running Mac OS, and I'm running Parallels, and then I'm running an emulator in Parallels in Mac OS. So it's like, how many layers of emulation going on? but it'll make it up there just kinda watch the output down here and see what's going on hope I can make it to the Shiva Splash logo before I, before I cut this video off I don't want it to go too long there we go now it's installing as you can see it uploaded, it installed, well it's installing so let's give it a little more time again if this was a real device it would actually go a lot faster but it's in an emulator in a, in a virtual machine on a laptop so it's not the greatest but it, if you have a small app it shouldn't take much time but like I said, this is 40 megabytes, so it's going to take a little bit of time. If anybody's still watching this and actually knows how to um, get your Android device recognized by Parallels, then let me know. Leave a message in the comments. And there you go. Installing, success, starting activity, and now it's it's going. And there you can see the splash screen. And it's asking me to log. Yes. So now this is where I'm gonna stop because this will take forever. This will take about 10 minutes or 20 minutes. So there you go from um, Shiva STK right into Android e Eclipse and Android and that was maybe you could get it done in about two minutes I'm having system errors because this is a emulator and a low version emulator at that and I didn't force use OpenGL 1.1 so there you go hope you enjoyed it but um, if you have any questions leave a comment